Welcome to September. Here's your psychic tarot reading for the month. This month, this is what we will go over. We will cover your current self, the month's theme, you at the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the key goal to achieve, how to do it, obstacles to overcome, how to do it, good news, what to avoid, your spirituality modality of focus this month to help you get through it. And then I wanted to let you know that um, when I polled people on Instagram and on Facebook, they all said what they really wanted to focus on this month was money and career. So I will be putting that in a separate set of videos for you this month um, to this YouTube channel and hit the little bell notification so that when those come out, you are immediately aware and alerted in case you like these. I would also appreciate it if you would share these videos with people that you think would find helpful um, because otherwise, how are they gonna find them, right? And here's something new that we're doing this month. If you are to go ahead and share this video on Facebook or Instagram, please go ahead and tag me because this month I'm giving away a zodiac sign necklace, which obviously it would be the one. If you're a Pisces, that'd be the one that you want to share, right? In this picture, this is an example of the different Pisces necklaces that would be going out, but I have them for every single sign. Um, those would be shipped out halfway through the month, so make sure that you tag me in it. Um, because if you don't, I can't see the post, and then I can't DM you for your shipping address. So I'll be giving away one for each one of these signs. Uh, let's get started. Hey, Jim and I, welcome to September. Your money reading was fantastic, by the way. So if you didn't look at that, um, you should. Anyway, current self this month. Um, they're like, there's nothing to worry about, actually. Anything that... Like, if you're not feeling anything, if nothing pops into your mind, that's okay because there's nothing that you really need to worry about or see, especially in the beginning of the month with the new moon energy. As I say that, and I'm recording this video, it's 11.33 um, in the morning. So 11 is about the things that we want. 33 is about divine support, fate, karma, that sort of thing, which creates the 44, which is all about things becoming really stable and helping us to achieve our destiny and kind of make change in the world um, financially and for ourselves and very quickly, but then also also to assist others. So this is a really fantastic omen. Um, September might be a really great month for you. Now, as far as this month's theme goes, they're saying compassion, um, demonstrating the language of the heart by actively and um, living and sharing love is kind of the theme. So we know that when we're in this energy of love or above, we attract all the things that we want to as per the law of attraction, right? And so you really want to just kind of identify when you're there and share that. Holy shit, I'm so excited it's sunny out today. Oh my god, my car started as usual. This is fucking amazing. And just see how your um, energy goes and flows throughout the month, how awesome you feel, and then how lucky you actually are, how many things kind of just naturally flow into your life. I challenge you to do that. So you at the beginning of the month, it's about shifting perspective. Um, they're saying, you know, looking at our routines, how things have kind of been same old and um, understanding when that's good and when it isn't. This is a month about giving back. When blessings flow to us, what can we give out? And, you know, honestly, the more that we do that, the more we're going to give back. We'll receive blessings, you know, up to times six in return for what we give out. So tip the barista a little bit extra this month. You might somehow um, have some sort of financial blessing that is, you know, six times what you tip them. Maybe your uh, electricity bill is six times lower than it usually is. Um, they're saying this is a really solid month for you career-wise and financially. You've, the seeds that you've planted historically are starting to grow. So maybe you made an investment and that's starting to pay off dividends. Maybe you um, started a blog and all of a sudden now it's going to start growing and getting followers and generate income for you. They're saying whatever isn't working, just continue to focus on the positive things this month because the past is not a reflection of um, now nor the future. We might have broken patterns historically that might have felt like limiting to us. The history doesn't have to repeat itself and it can be like even better than in the fu than we thought was possible moving forward in the future. This um, is very, very similar 
to what we had with the money reading. So they're saying, um, also super similar <laughs> to what we had in the money reading, where they're saying, have this childlike kind of enthusiasm and optimism, like anything is possible because anything really fucking is possible. Um, this reminds me actually, I'm getting goosebumps, so um, this is like one of those things that's really important. What is that song called? It's called Focus. I love Bozzy. I feel like a lot of his um, music has little hints to law of attraction and a lot of spiritual shit in them. So this song called Focus, I don't really care for the um, moments in the song with the 21 Savage part, the little rapper guy. It's not my style. Maybe it's yours. But there's this lyric in the song that says, anything I imagine, I know that it can happen. Um... My energies on dragon, something about, something about, you know, breathing fire on a shit situation and rising from the ashes, okay? And so that's kind of what's happening here. Anything that, ima that you can imagine, you can literally have it. As a child, if, as a little girl, if I were to say, I want to be um, the first astronaut ballerina, how shitty would it be if some adult came and said, that's not a job, that could never happen. We would never do that to a child, so why do we do it to ourselves? Anything that you can imagine, you can achieve it, you know, with the co-creation of actually truly fucking believing it, but then taking the steps to get there. I could call up Elon Musk if I was, like, super dedicated and ask him to, you know, after much um, ballet training, ask him if I could be one of the first test people on his rockets into space and I could make a YouTube channel in which I ballet dance in zero gravity. If that was my goal, I could fucking do it, right? So that's what they're saying. Anything in that you imagine, you can actually have it, especially this month in September, or at least plant the seeds because those are going to start to blossom and grow. So they're saying some of you though aren't buying it. Some of you are feeling hopeless. And so they're like, Break those patterns of feeling that way because otherwise shit is going to stay the same for you. Sorry about it. Um, you know, life is a series of choices. So what are you going to choose? Um, key goal for you to achieve. They're saying allowing other people to help you. Um, how are you going to be more open to that? And they're like understanding that this is a form of self-care. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, see, look, isn't that cute? They're like, you weren't getting enough self-care. This is how you do it. I love that. Your spirit guides are the cutest. Um, anyway, and also thanks, guys, for helping me out. <laughs> um, so basically, you know, your kids might load the dishwasher wrong, right? And that is fucking infuriating. You're like, ah, I'll do it myself. But honestly, even if they do it wrong, even if 50% of the dishes actually get clean when that cycle is run, it's still 50% more than if you, you know, um, didn't run that cycle and then went through and reloaded it. Now you only have to put 50% more dishes in there. I mean, something's better than nothing. If it's not perfect, whatever. Because if we're waiting for perfection, we're going to be waiting our entire lives because nothing is ever 100% perfect. No person, no nothing, right? So, um, getting, I was going to say, putting the balls to the wall, but I had that image of like um, pedal to the metal balls to the floor. I don't, I don't fucking know. But point is, um, we need to allow other people to help us, to help us because that's going to chill us out. Even if it's not perfect, nothing ever is right. We're not ever going to be fully in control of anything. And if we take everything on ourselves, we're going to totally lose control. So obstacles to overcome. That's maybe a little bit redundant, but let's see. And they're like trying not to be judgmental. So piggybacking on that. Sure, other people might not do things right, but at least they might have done a portion of something, you know, that we can just finish up. It takes a little bit of the load off. Delegating is the way to do this. They're like, this is how we achieve better balance and how we achieve um, the even potential for infinite possibilities, okay? Good news for the month. They're saying, um, you're not going into this month, like, as self-deprecating, as emotionally fucked up as everybody else seems to be, you're just like, hey, I've already learned a lot of life lessons and I'm taking those with me and I'm like headed towards like on a, 
I'm headed very smooth sailing, right? Towards the things that I want, the things that I desire towards peace, balance, um, and calm. So awesome for you. God, I fucking wish I had Gemini in my chart. I don't though. Um, what you should be avoiding this month. And they're like, not worrying about anything is um, maybe not the way to go. I mean, we do want to worry about things in a healthy way. Not obsessed, but you're not much of an obsessor anyway. But, you know, it's like um, there are a few things that are actually good to be concerned about and put a little bit of mental effort into, even if it's painful. So they're basically saying, like, don't slip into avoidance, okay? So staying a little bit practical. Um, and then spiritual modality to focus on to kind of help you through this month and keep you on track. They're saying shielding for you. So, um, and then they're saying for those of you who are not into shielding or you don't believe in it, um, yoga would be good for you. So what shielding is, is it's like taking, when we clear our chakras, right, um, we kind of infuse through our crown chakra a certain color of light. And um, then you bring that all the way down through your feet and kind of have it come back up like a big giant bubble around us. Now, you can shield with different colors. Um, and I guess kind of depending on the day or the mood or the vibe, you might want to have a different color. But I personally really like to use purple a lot of the time because it's that I'm rubber, you're glue type of energy. Whereas if somebody is sending me bad juju, right, or they're in a bad mood, that bounces right back to them. It doesn't feel good. And then they change their behavior to be more loving and more positive. Whereas if they're super loving and positive towards me, if their vibes are good, it's going to bounce back at them and they're going to feel rewarded for it and therefore continue that behavior, right? Um, for some of you, I'm going to say white is good just because that's clear thinking and that's going to be very pure. For others of you, you might want to go with yellow, which is like I'm cleaning my own energy and then I'm kind of asking the people around me to cleanse theirs too. It's like running things through a kidney, like running things through a filter, okay? So that is your September. I can't wait to see what's up in October for you. Lots of love. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.